November 5th, the Breeders' Cup Classic, a mile and a quarter. But before the West Coast horses can deal with that, they have to face each other in the Pacific Classic. And how's this for a prep? California Chrome faces Dortmund, second place in the Kentucky Derby to American Pharaoh. And yes, it was every bit as tough as it sounds. This San Diego handicap is quite an interesting race. And in a previous video, we called into question Chrome Boy's speed. Dortmund questioned his speed too, and he got an emphatic answer. Here's Chrome heading for the paddock, and we're going to take note here of a piece of equipment that we've seen before, and that is the nasal flare strip. It's been thoroughly tested, it's been proven to work, and why everyone doesn't use it is beyond me, but the Chrome boy does. Chromey. Straighten that tie. Hey, Chromey. And here's an interesting historical note. This black spot on Chrome's right hind quarter is called a bend or spot, named after a stallion that was foaled in 1877, and that comes through Chrome's sire, Lucky Pulpit. Now, we were lucky enough to get a brief comment from Martin Sherman about Chrome's condition leading up to this race. Wait, Does Chrome okay. gain a lot of weight between races? Do you really no, have to fight he, that? Or? No, he's, he's really in a fighting weight right now. Okay, and it's not hard to manage that for you? No, once you get him fit, he's, he, he's easy to maintain. So, so how's he feeling today? Is he a happy guy? Well, I haven't talked to him, but he seemed like he was... <laughs> talk to my horse. I can't believe you don't talk to him. Well, he didn't answer me. It kind of made me upset. You know? Really? So, well, what do you think? I mean, does he think, do you think he has a happy disposition no, today? he looks good. Looks good. He does look good. And yes, he did look good. His body condition score is about a five, and that's right where they want him, and we touched on that in the melatonin video earlier. So Dortmund shows a pretty good turn of foot at 41.5 miles per hour here early in the race, but Chrome goes right after him, lets him move up on the rail, and once again we see a top jockey, Victor Espinosa, sitting right in that sweet spot, right off the right hip of the horse on the lead. Now, Chrome can be as much as 10 feet behind Dortmund and still be in the protected position drafting behind that lead horse. Victor Espinosa makes his move here just as they finish the turn and head for the stretch. He starts to move ahead of Dortmund, but Dortmund presents a real challenge. They leave the rest of the field behind and they just duke it out down the stretch, nose to nose here. But once again, California Chrome proves to be a real champion. He's got heart, he's tough, he's fast, he's strong, he's big, any compliment you want to throw at him, it will stick. But let's take a look at the numbers. Chrome didn't have an easy time of it. He gave up five pounds to Dortmund. This is a handicap race. The horses are assigned a weight that's going to make them more competitively even. In the opinion of racing secretary David Jerkins, who assigned these weights, five pounds was the difference at this distance, a mile and a sixteenth, between Dortmund and California Chrome. This chart is published by the British Horse Racing Authority and it shows you how the weights are calculated. According to this chart, Mr. Jerkins apparently calculated about two and a half lengths difference between the two horses. And I'll be damned if Mr. Jerkins wasn't spot on with this one. He got it down to a photo finish. So job well done to David Jerkins. Breeders' Cup Classic is not a handicap race. All the horses will carry 126 pounds, except Beholder, who gets a three pound weight advantage because she's a lady. So let's take a look at the Trackus numbers. Here in the first quarter mile, peak speed for California Chrome, 41 miles per hour. That's about the best we see him do. He has gone a little faster, but not much. Dortmund a little bit quicker with 41.5 miles per hour. But notice the average speed for that quarter mile, 38.4 miles per hour for California Chrome. One mile into the race, Chrome has dropped his average speed less than one mile per hour to 37.7. His time for the one mile, 134.89. Bear in mind our 12 second furlongs, that would be 136. 
So Chrome is really smoking along behind Dortmund here. It's a very fast mile. In the final 16th of a mile, California Chrome average speed still 37.9, while Dortmund has dropped to 33.5. That's significant. California Chrome is maintaining a really hot pace. It takes superb conditioning for a horse to maintain that kind of speed for that long. Clearly, Art Sherman's got his horse in top condition. One more thing for you handicappers to consider is the delta figure, the number of feet more or less that the other horses traveled relative to the distance that the winner traveled. In this case, Dortmund was 22 feet shorter than California Chrome. So that could tell us that Chrome's victory was a little more decisive than it appears. So California Chrome's San Diego Handicap victory tells us this horse is in great condition. He turned in a really fast time, a really fast mile, and I think he's going to be sharp as tax for the Pacific Classic and the Breeders' Cup Classic. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the subscribe button if you want to get notification of our upcoming videos. We'll be keeping track of the West Coast horses getting ready for this year's Breeders' Cup Classic.